Hello everyone, this is me Mohamed Yakub. I'm back again updating another video and it's going to be the ADC Continuous Conversion mode tutorial. ADC Continuous Conversion, as the name suggests, is when the ADC continuously acquires and converts analog data. If you would recall from the last video where we talk about ADC Single Conversion that is useful for slow applications in which you need to acquire analog data every half a second or every second. However, there are fast applications in which you need to acquire data as fast as you possibly can. And that's where ADC continuous conversion becomes useful. And this is the topic of this tutorial. For this video, I will only show you how to do this with Cubemix. I'm not going to get through the lower level programming at this video uh, because I've already done it in the previous ADC video and it's pretty much duplicate. So, but I'll get back to the lower level programming in the coming videos. Okay, so let's make a start in open Cubemix. Okay, as usual, click on new project and select the right board, minus T in 40407 VGT. And now we've got to configure our pins. I've got a similar setup to the previous video, so I have a potentiometer that is connected to PA0, so I would need to set PA0 as analog input. Uh, so I click on PA0 and select ADC1 input 0. And this would enable PA0 and set it to analog input. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to check the frequency of a clock, the ADC clock. And according to the clock block diagram, the ADCs are triggered by a clock called APP2. So I've got to see what the frequency of this clock is. And it's 16 megahertz. So, now let's go to ADC configuration. The first thing I want to change is I want to set the resolution to 8 bits and the clock prescaler to 6 or 8 so because the APP clock frequency is 16 megahertz and we're setting a prescaler of 8 this would effectively divide the clock by 8 16 divided by 8 is 2 so we have an effective ADC clock of 2 megahertz the next thing we need to do is we need to enable continuous conversion mode because that's what the video is all about and expand this rank and we need to select the sampling time. According to the reference manual, sampling time control the ADC conversion total conversion number of cycles. So the total conversion time is equal to sampling time plus 12 cycles. If I set the sampling time to 3, I'll have 15 total number of cycles. And 15 clock cycles of 2 megahertz is equal to 7.5 microseconds. But I want a slower than this because 7.5 microseconds is really quick I don't have to convert that fast so I'll change the number of cycles to 480 and this will give me 480 divided by 2 is 240 so I have 240 microseconds this is acceptable reasonably um, small and if you're confused on how I did the calculation I'll pause the video now and I'll show you how I did them Okay, so here's how I did the calculations. First of all, we've got the uh, ADC APP2 clock frequency is 16 megahertz, and I set a prescaler of 8, so 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2 megahertz. And then according to the reference manual, the total conversion time of the ADC in number of cycles is equal to sampling time plus 12 cycles. So I set my sampling time to 480 cycles, so 480 plus 12 cycles is equal to 492 cycles and then the total conversion time in seconds not in cycles is we convert the frequency into period so we divide 1 over the frequency and we multiply this by the number of cycles so a cycle one cycle in 2 megahertz clock is half microsecond just like in here and then we have 492 cycles, so we multiply by the number of cycles and we get 246 microsecond for the sampling time. That's simply how I did the calculations. Now that's all for the ADC configuration. Let's proceed and click OK. And let's generate the source code by clicking on this icon. I need to, to give the project a name. I'm going to call it ADC Continuous. And I need to select the right ID, MDKR V5 or Cal Microvision 5. And I want to store it at this particular location. Now click OK. And once this is done, click on our project and this will take you to the IDE. And here on CalMicroVision, you need to expand this folder and expand application user and open the main. And the first thing we need to do is we need to define a variable to store the ADC returned value. 
I'll call it ADC value and this is just a variable to store the return value by the ADC then we need to start the ADC similar to what we did in the previous video but now we just need to start it once and it will continuously keep converting so it's hull ADC start and this function takes only one parameter which is a uh, ADC handle type diff and it's defined at the top here it's ADC1 and now this will permanently start the ADC and will continuously keep converting then we need to get the value of the ADC and we use a function called hull ADC get value and this only takes a single parameter too which is the ADC handle type diff I think it's as simple as this so I'm not going to put any delay because this is a continuous conversion so I should expect it to convert as fast as it can and according to my theory of timing it should be 246 microsecond well it's not my theory but it's a calculated value now let's compile the code and upload it to the board and see what we get okay compiled and uploaded successfully let's get into debugging mode and um, what's the value of the ADC and before we start debugging session we need to add the ADC value variable to the watch memory so that we can see it in real time and I want to disable the hex display and let's start so you get 96 let me scroll up okay perfect it changes I'm changing from right to left and I can see the value getting from minimum to maximum so ADC continuous conversion mode is working okay and this brings me to the end of my tutorial today and as I said I'm not gonna get into low programming for this video because I have shown similar thing in the last video and it's just gonna be a duplicate except the enabling the continuous conversion mode so that's it for this video if you found it useful please hit like and subscribe thanks so much for watching and see you next time